how to measure a person's reaction time. And this is a required practical, so it's important that you learn the details. We're going to start by looking at the method for this practical. The practical requires two people to work together, and we'll call these person 1 and person 2. Person 2 will measure the reaction time of person 1. First, person 1 sits on a stool with good upright posture. Person 1 then places the forearm of their dominant arm across the table with their hand overhanging the edge. If you're right-handed, then your dominant arm is your right arm. Now, person 2 holds a ruler vertically. The zero centimetre mark should be between person 1's thumb and first finger. Person 2 then tells person 1 to prepare to catch the ruler. Person 2 now drops the ruler at a random time. Person 1 has to catch the ruler with their thumb and first finger as quickly as possible when it drops. Person 2 now records the measurement on the ruler that's level with the top of person 1's thumb. At this point, person 1 has a short rest. The test is then repeated several times and a mean is calculated. From these experiments, we can convert our results to a reaction time. And to do this, we use a conversion table. And there are plenty of these on the internet. At the end, the two people switch places, with person 1 testing the reaction time of person 2. This allows us to see whether the two people have different reaction times. 